What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Blunderbuss79 and the patch notes for the mid month are here that are a part of this Rage Return Token Shop. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Greetings, agents. This is Sam Fragment of Marvel Future Fight. The enraged retaliator of hell and the Hydra has returned hell Hydra. to Marvel Future Fight. Ghost Rider was acquired a new uniform in tier four, will judge his enemies with endless flames of hellfire. Then, who has required a new uniform in tier three, will show the fury of Hydra. Agents, check out the new skills and powers of the updated heroes by downloading 1017 patch. This is going to be a rolling patch, of course. So, the whole mid month thing. They are going to be uh, dropping the tokens for this when the event starts and they will be given should be 10 uh, premium tokens. And then, of course, you got to buy the other 20. Money. Mucho dinero. Or sin, but we'll go over that in a little bit. Let's dive right into my man Ghost Rider, right? I got all kinds of names like uh, also known as AKA Horse Choker. Here he is going to have the 1750 crystal full cost uniform. It is going to be an increased chain hit the 10% on the uniform passive. He's going to carry over the increased basic damage dealt to super villains by 120%. They are bumping up the skill damage by 10% and the bonus damage, I believe, by 10% as well, along with the decreased basic damage received by 30%. He's going to retain the 90% chance to become immune to fire damage and the 30% fire damage increase. However, they did increase the fire damage on that skill by 15%. And then the other thing that you're going to notice here with Ghost Rider, two big things. They did shorten his cooldowns by quite a bit. They also gave him a V-pad skill on the two. was not there before. And they also gave it some snare and silence that wasn't there before as well as some super armor and an increase all base attack by 20 percent it doesn't seem to be a bunch of that funny business going on with his um energy attack as fire damage and all of that stuff they actually increased fire damage no they decreased the fire damage on the new skill by 15 percent they increased the fire damage on the one skill by 5%. With the third skill, they actually shortened the cooldown, um, but they also uh, moved the uh, buff from the third skill to the fourth, and then they gave the heal to the third skill. He has 30% heal frenzy buff on the three, and then they moved the iframe ignore damage prop to the fourth skill. But it's only 150% now instead of 250%. So they did nerf this thing, looks like, on paper quite a bit. So we're going to have to kind of wait and see how all of this shakes out. They are moving it from the third to the fourth skill, so I'm not sure how much that has to do with it. But then again, like I said, decreasing the skill cooldown. You know, he had a 20 second cooldown on the fifth. They brought that thing down to 18 seconds. He had a 16 second cooldown on the four. Now this is interesting. He has two different cooldowns on this thing. He's got a three second cooldown on the damage prop, which wasn't there before. And then a 17 second cooldown, which is actually an increase by one second. You don't know why? You wanna know why? Shut up. So that's kind of confusing as well. Um, The third skill, the skill cooldown got cut in half from 30 to 15 seconds. And then the one and the two were actually increased from seven seconds and nine seconds to 10 seconds and 13 seconds respectively. With Ghost Rider, we're gonna have to wait and see, like I always say. Yeah, he also is gonna retain the leadership tag. He does have that already. So that's actually a good thing along with the flame tag. So let's go ahead and jump on over in the sin and see what's going on with her. And of course we got Red Skull's daughter Sin right here. She is gonna be those 
30 revenge tokens, what we talked about. Thank you very much, you son of a bitch. Earlier. Um, but she may actually be worth the pickup. She's going to have the weapon master tag and the pure evil tag, human female speed supervillain with cruelty as her artifact typing. Uh, for a uniform effect, she's going to get some increased chain hit by 10%, increased guaranteed dodge rate by 25%. And it looks like they actually did throw the kitchen sink at this girl. She is getting a whopping 55% increased damage dealt to boss types just bring it for all supervillain allies this is gonna be huge you know the original skills name is unholy that's exactly how much this buff is this is a this is an unholy buff right here and then of course she gets applies to self 30 percent physical attack and some decrease basic damage received by 25 percent he's also not having her leadership changed, which means that she's going to be able to retain that 24% all attack buff to all allies, which is also pretty good. They actually could have buffed that thing, but considering they gave her 55% damage to boss types for our supervillain allies, that's actually really, really, really huge he's also gonna get some stun paralysis some burn silence stun she gets an increase uh damage immunity 100 percent on her third skill he also has some more burn silence some invincibility a frenzy buff with a 50 percent damage buff and 20 percent crit rate so that's huge she also gets a 30 percent heal on the fifth skill and the cooldowns look to be pretty for proc friendly. They're all 15 seconds for the skills that actually look like they're gonna matter uh, as far as on paper goes. So Sin's looking like she's gonna be a pretty solid support for villain allies, especially considering this um, hunting skill passive with this unholy buff of 55% damage to boss types or super villain allies along with her leadership I mean yeah it's, it's gonna be pretty nasty with sin as far as ghost riders tier four goes they're giving them a 20 percent heal with increase all resist 80 percent and increase flame damage by 50 percent of flame resistance up to 100 percent for 10 seconds you know considering he already has all of that resistance already this could be a pretty substantial tier four buff. Maybe that's kind of why they nerfed that damage proc from 250 to 150%. We're going to have to wait and see because the balancing for Doctor Strange really doesn't leave me very confident in Ghost Rider right now at this particular moment. But nerf doesn't seem as bad with Thin's ultimate skill here as you can see the animation's been going for a little while it's really reminiscent of red skull's awakened skill which is actually dope it's one character i thought they never should have given an awakened skill to he should have been tier three it's like cap so hopefully that's something they can revisit maybe but we'll have to wait and see because we all know that uh, the cost for a tier 3 in a character and awakening awakening character is completely different. But she gets some ignore target dodge rate, 80% chance to penetrate everything, some invincibility, and 1% damage accumulation for 10 seconds. We get into the artifacts. Oh, you poor dear. Ready for the end? My pretty! <laughs> Now, this is where they kind of lose me right here with Ghost Rider. He gets the undead passive, but he really doesn't strike me as a PvP character. So I don't know why they would give him this particular skill on his artifact. Sin, again, with the super villain allies buff. She gives damage to superheroes and super villains. Yes, it's only 15% but this is just something else that you can slap on with a CTP of insight, maybe. Substantial amount of support out of seeing from a leadership to a mini passive to the, her tier two passive with the damage to boss types and this super villain superhero damage, along with something like a, a CTP of insight really adds up to be something huge. And then of course, down here, we got some changes uh, to Dr. Voodoo's text being abnormally displayed 
And then we got some something about the fortitude skill being wrongfully displayed but applying normally. Uh, so yeah, y'all like, comment, share, sub. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below about Sans uniform being paywall, about um, Ghost Rider's passive uh, for his artifact not really matching the rest of his kit and being a PvP sort of oriented thing. And uh, we'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.